Greetings everybody, it's Jade. How's it going? I hope it's going very well. It's going well over here. Um, some biking stuff happened. And um, before we get into um, the sports stuff, cause you know, normally I like to keep this channel um, sports related, Vikings related. But um, everyone has been talking about this Tiger King thing that's going on right now. Uh, my friends are telling me that I have to watch this Tiger thing, uh, Tiger King documentary. I <laughs> uh, haven't watched it, but you know, I basically felt like I've watched the entire thing. You know, it's like uh, Joe Exotic, and then there's missing limbs, there's money, there's murder, there's tigers, and then there's that B, Carol Baskin, Robin. <laughs> no, Carol Baskin. Anyway, um, I've been hearing a lot about it, and I'm probably not going to watch it. But is everyone else watching this? I think so. Um, it's all anybody is talking about. But anyway, so I just wanted to mention um, the Tiger King documentary. Is everybody watching that? I mean, did I get the gist of it? You know, there's a guy, Joe Exotic, and uh, he's, there's mullets, uh, drugs, murder for hire, and then the, that B Carol. Carol Baskin. <laughs> I think I got it all though, right? Without even watching it, I pretty much know what's going on. Anyway, so crazy stuff because uh, everybody's inside right now. So we got a lot of uh, TV and stuff to watch, especially when there's really no sports going on at all. Um, but NFL doesn't sleep anyway. Uh, so the Vikings, there's been some updates. There's stuff happening. Um, Kirk Cousins is still on the team, unfortunately. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> Never gonna get over it. Never gonna get over that. Still annoyed. But quickly moving on before I spiral down the Kirk Cousins rabbit hole, which I want to do, but I won't. I am want to do. Not that I want to, but I'm not going to. Not today. Anyway, he's still on the team. But um, there's some new peeps on the purple. Uh, they have former XFL linebacker, uh, from the Houston Roughnecks, uh, DeMarcus Gates. That happened. Um, and okay, the next one, signing of a wide receiver who is maybe going to be the number two in replacement of Stefan Diggs, perhaps. I've heard his name pronounced um, two different ways. Uh, ta I've heard it pronounced Tajay Sharp, and I've heard it pronounced Tajay Sharp. So I've heard Tajay more than Tajay. But I actually heard um, Nate Burleson um, pronounce it Taze. So anyway, we got a new wide receiver. Um, I watched a little bit of like a welcome interview kind of thing on the Twitter, uh, on the Vikings Twitter that they had posted. And he mentioned that Randy Moss is his favorite athlete. Uh, so not all bad there. And that... Um, yeah, they got him on a one-year deal, and he's also a rapper, so multi-talented. We got a jack of all trades here on the team, <laughs> so we'll see how that pans out. Um, the little bit that I watched him talk, granted, I haven't seen a clip of him playing that I know of. Um, I liked, you know, the attitude that I saw, you know, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe, like, the diva antics that wide receivers are known for, maybe he gets that done off the field with his, you know, rap stuff. That's his outlet there for the, for the diva -tude. So he doesn't have a diva -tude. Maybe. We'll see. So another wide receiver has joined. And then the Vikings also got defensive end Anthony Zettel. Zettel? Zettel. I think it's Zettel. Um, he was on the 49ers last year, actually, um, when, you know, and they made it to the Super Bowl only to lose to Kansas City. So... That happened, and then the Vikings also re-signed some people. Uh, running back Amir Abdullah. Um, sounds like he's going to do a lot of the returns because Marcus Sherrill's probably not going to be back. I like Amir Abdullah, though. He's been pretty good, pretty solid. So, hey, that's all right. Uh, center Brett Jones. Who? Yeah, exactly. Brett Jones is back. Um, they also re-signed um, Dakota Dozier. So... You know, with Dakota Dozier re-signing too, it's like, is he gonna fill the fill the like vacant right guard spot um, since Josh Klein left, or you know, are they planning to get rid of Pat Elfline and then bring Josh Klein back 
and then to which case I believe Dakota Dozier would play left guard. Maybe. We'll see. So anyway, some stuff happened for the purple. So that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of it. Not a lot. It's pretty quiet. Um, kind of everywhere though. And some notable mentions that uh we can't forget about, but uh we can uh forget about them, I guess, now, but probably won't forget about them completely, but it was nice for a minute while he was here for a couple of years, but Xavier Rhodes has found a new team. He's going to be joining Philip Rivers on the Indianapolis Colts, so they picked him up, and you know what, too, as far as the Xavier Rhodes thing, he was great for a couple of years, really great, but, like, at the end, just such a liability. Goodbye. I mean, your time is come and gone with the purple so it's goodbye but he did post like a really nice little thing on his instagram saying that he really you know enjoyed playing for the vikings and it, it was nice you know he, he played for the fans blah blah blah. so you know all that good stuff so you know um wish him the best i'm glad he's not on the vikings anymore but wish him the best so go play for the colts and uh do your thing and uh, another notable mention that uh i don't really know if we care that much about but Laquan Treadwell, he is going to be signing with the Atlanta Falcons if he hasn't officially already done so. So, <laughs> the Vikings are actually slated to play the Falcons, too, this year at home, U.S. Bank Stadium. So, Bird Graveyard. Will it be a Falcon Graveyard as well? Will he make the team? We shall see. We shall see. But, anyway, I don't know. That's pretty much all I got, you guys. Kind of a shorty. But that's okay. I uh, hope everybody is doing well, like I said before. I uh, hope you stay safe and healthy and all that jazz. And um, thanks for viewing and liking and commenting and all that other good stuff. And uh, hope you all take care. And I'll check you next time. Okay? Later.